Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and today I'm going to go over some features of the app. We're going to enter into design mode to create a control and I'm going to create a knob so I start with more, tap on more, enter into design mode, now I'm in design mode. If I tap anywhere on either of the two pages I get to add a control so I'm going to tap here, choose the type of control so I can choose slider, I can choose knob, I'm going to choose knob add one, the control is here, it's got its red sizing handles around it. The red sizing handles mean that I can move it and I can also size it. So if I double tap the control it brings up the properties of the control. This is the properties inspector. At the bottom we see the let me do that again. At the bottom we see the different uh, aspects of the control that we can change, properties, MIDI, advanced, actions. So I'm going to rename the control and I'm just going to change its name to gain. Hit enter, it's done, it's in the control, uh, it's right there. We can also change its MIDI channel and CC. And you can see that the MIDI designer is using just the unused one. So if we go into channel 15, we see that 11 is open, but if we go to channel 1, maybe 11 is not open. And in fact, it's not. So we scale back 15's open. We'll take that. Now we've got a control. We're going to do something interesting with this. We're going to double tap it. We're going to go to actions and we're going to make a copy of this control. This is not a control that is similar to it. This is not a separate control. They're actually the same control. So this means that when I size one, it sizes the other. When I change the name of one, it changes the other. Most importantly, they share the same uh, MIDI channel and CC. So I'm going to take this control and I'm going to move it to the next page. So now this control is here and they are actually both the exact same control. So if I move one, of course, it moves the other. With that, we want to look at the structure of the pages in MIDI Designer because what's the point of having copies of controls? The point is I see different or the same page on either side. Switching pages using the page selector. And if this control is here, it's also where its copies are. So it might be convenient to have, let's say, a volume knob that appears on uh, multiple pages. You've got it on page one, you've also got to adjust the volume on page three. How are you going to do that? One way you can do it in MIDI Designer is copying controls. It's not the only way, but it's one of them. First, let's add some pages and see what that looks like. So I'm going to go back into design mode, double tap on one of the pages, go into its actions, new after, and I get a page with a random color and texture. So we lost the texture. So we lost the texture, but we're going to go on we double tap on the page properties and we modify texture and color. Here we've got a lot of options for textures including nothing which uh, users have asked for and it's been kind of annoying that you had to choose that we had things like uh, party napkin but we didn't have a blank one. So now we have a blank one, <laughs> uh, nothing, there it is. Um, you can also go randomly, that's pretty nice. Neon intestine is one of my favorites actually. So I can adjust page properties, I can add pages, I can remove pages. And where do I add and remove pages from is banks. So there are banks of pages. So now you can just extend your universe out in two different directions. So in MIDI Designer, right now, these are looking at the same bank. And some users have said, I don't want that. I don't want to mirror pages. I want a different group of pages. If I press on the bank indicator, I can move between banks and by default the MIDI designer gives you two banks. Two isn't enough once you start growing. Right now we're offering six banks total. Just press and hold on the bank indicator. Number of banks six. Now when I go to the new banks, third bank has a randomly generated texture and it's got one page on it. it can go all the way up to six pages down to one page on any bank including the first. Now you might say, well, you've got your stuff in banks, but I've actually got my page in the wrong place, or I've got my page in the wrong bank. So we're just going to, we're still in design mode. We know that because this guy's here. So now I can drag the pages around to reorder them. 
or we can drag the pages also to another bank. I don't want this page to be here anymore. I want it to be here. Okay, great. Now it's on bank two, bank three. More basic stuff is how do I delete a control? Again, I'm double tapping on the control. I see the delete uh, button is there within the actions pane. So we hit delete delete our control okay and the question remains as to whether its copies have also been deleted and the question also remains as to whether I can go find the copy because it hasn't been deleted there it is okay this is our same gain knob that we put in before it's still there because these are copies that exist on the pages independently but they are actually the same control so I can make another copy and put it back and everything would be where it was before so we've seen some of the basic features of MIDI Designer, how to add controls, how to delete controls, how to move controls around, how to copy controls, a little bit more advanced, but still we also saw banks and we also saw pages, which are also very basic and easy concepts to understand. Beginning speaking. Hey, I hope you learned a lot about this uh, MIDI Designer. I love making these videos. I'm making one every 10 minutes. You okay. are really drowning. I say be funny, honestly. Nobody's okay. going to get this far. Well, that's been a video that has shown some of the general features of MIDI Designer. I hope that you've learned something that you didn't know or found something to be interesting or been totally confused and could perhaps send us an email and say, what were you talking about at such and such a minute? Or the whole video was great. We loved it. We watch it with we eat popcorn while we watch it. Whatever is happening out there, we want to know. So send us an email to support at mididesigner.com. User number one, credits. Oh, no, now I get to do something? Credit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the battery is almost dead. That's what he's... It's the doomsday... <laughs> always, I am, of course, the doomsday prognosticator. You always and that is my... Guy. Today's doomsday prognostication is the battery is almost so, dead. So wasn't I going to show this stuff off with Ableton Live and do some cool stuff with the David Getta track? How about we do that tomorrow?